Field of 10, two-year-old fillies lining up for the start of the Orange Blue Stake, picking up speed. Here they come. They're off in pacing, Broadway Special in the middle. Comes out aggressively. Park Lane chair on the outside with Fox Valley Holly. There goes Yes Diana. Park Lane chair now takes command into the first turn. A length to Broadway Special, length back to Yes Diana. Coming away fourth, about five off the lead. Lake Hill Sophia, a length to Fox Valley Holly. She's off stride. There goes oh, you Pretty Thing around her. Half length on the inside to I'm Bombed. Length and a half, Nikki Graham. Then it's Pretty Audrey. Length and a half, Miss Star Legacy trailing after the miscue. Fox Valley Holly, 27 and 4, the opening quarter. From the outside, Lake Kill Sophia now takes command of the pace. A length from Park Lane Chair. Tom Insko, yes, Diana, they're on the move in third. Oh, you pretty thing. There she goes around her. Anderson not waiting for anybody. Oh, you pretty thing going after the lead. Half was in 57 seconds. Oh, you pretty thing. Now forging past Lake Kill Sophia as they move into the far turn. Yes, Diana racing in third. On the outside, Park Lane Chair getting into it for McGee. Broadway Special looks for room. Pretty Audrey and Morgan. Now they're making their move. Oh, you pretty thing. Slingshots off the corner. Quickly into a four and a half length lead. They go by three quarters. 120, six and two. It's oh, you pretty thing. She's out there by four. Four and a half into the final. Three sixteenths. Oh, you pretty thing. On the inside, Lake Hill Sophia. Park Lane chair. Pretty Audrey launching a rally. On the far outside, Miss Star Legacy is closing in. In deep stretch. It's Pretty Audrey. Pretty Audrey in the final yards. She's clear to win the orange and blue and at least clinch a share of that million dollar bonus. Oh, you pretty thing wins it at 155 and 2. Fields off the turn. Here they come. They're off in pacing. Shady Vale showing a bit of speed towards the inside. Broadway Baby Left moving through on the inside. Sylvana driving up from the outside. Diamond Sweetie and Vic Nita under the finish wire the first time. Vic Nita moving fastest of all to the front. Diamond Sweetie second. Sylvana third. Broadway Baby fourth. Shady Vale now hung on the outside fifth and moving up. Coming away six, Brandon's winner in seventh position, Paris in the morn. Chi Town Gale is eighth, Lamaz ninth, and the early trailer is our last kiss. Quarter one, 28 seconds flat. Shady Vales had a most difficult opening half mile, and Jim Curran now sets sail to the front. It's Shady Vale on the outside up to challenge and take the lead. Vic Nita making her work real hard for it. Right there in third position is. Diamond Sweetie racing in fourth. Sylvana Broadway Baby fifth. Half in 55 and three. Second quarter 27 and three. They move around the turn. The favorite Shady Vale leads, but she's had a most difficult trip already. On the outside, here comes Diamond Sweetie up to be second. Vic Nita covered up on the inside third. Broadway Baby on the outside gains ground fourth, and she's only three lanes from the leader. Locked in fifth, Sylvana to the outside. Brandon's winner on the outside is coming on. It's wide open, but they're still chasing Shady Vale. On the outside, closing ground. Here comes Diamond Sweetie, followed up on the outside. Broadway Baby, Vic Nita towards the inside. Shady Vale's digging down for more, and she still has the lead. Vic Nita now moves into second. Broadway Baby and Diamond Sweetie are Hanging. Your leader is Shady Vale. She had a tough trip, but she's game to the wire, and Shady Vale's going to win it by almost three. Tight photo for second. Diamond Sweetie maybe over Vic Nita.
Fields off the turn. Here they come. They're off and pacing on the inside seaside rendezvous left for the lead. Fox Valley hooker left driving up from the outside. Sporty Maggie's three deep. Sporty Maggie up to take the lead on the inside. Fox Valley hooker second. Seaside rendezvous third two lanes back. Fox Valley memory came away fourth. LB Bunny fifth. Ruler of men sixth and seventh. Julie Carr. Racing in eighth is Fox Valley Utopia. Dynamite Springs ninth and Lake Hills Beauty at the end. Quarter 28 and 1, they curve out of the back, out of the turn and on to the back stretch. Seaside Rendezvous now drives from third, and Anderson puts her on the lead. It's Seaside Rendezvous to the front. Sporty Maggie yields in second. Fox Valley Hooker third. Fox Valley Memory out slightly fourth, and now she flushes out. Fox Valley Hooker. Fox Valley Hooker moving quickly on the outside to challenge Seaside Rendezvous. Fox Valley Memory moves up third, Sporty Maggie fourth. On the outside, LB Bunny gains ground fifth, and she's only three lengths from the leader. And on the outside, moving up, Ruler of Men, saving ground inside Fox Valley Utopia. Julie Carr on the outside, eight, Dynamite Springs ninth, Lake Hills Beauty still can see them all. Final three-eighths of the mile. Fox Valley memory on the outside. Fox Valley hooker on the inside. Heads apart for the lead as they turn for the money. It's Fox Valley memory, the leader, and now taking the lead and drawing away quickly by two as McGee tries to keep her in a straight line. It's Fox Valley memory, the leader, by two. Seaside rendezvous closing up on the outside. Second, Fox Valley hooker third. Sporty Maggie fourth. It's Fox Valley memory going strong and drawing away. Race in second, Seaside Rendezvous. They come to the wire, and it's Fox Valley Memory in front. Seaside Rendezvous second, Sporty Maggie was third. Sharon McGuire to security. Sharon McGuire to security. Fields off the turn, and here they come. They're often pacing on the inside V12 left well, moving up on the outside. Goodbye to Hollywood. Midnight Voices moving up on the outside, also coming away looking for an early spot, but now caught three wide as Broadway Bourbon. They battle for position as they race into the first turn. Midnight Voices takes the lead. Goodbye to Hollywood holds the inside second. Broadway Bourbon now found a good early spot. Third racing fourth. V12 Sport Fanatic fifth. Parked and moving up six, Vic's Legacy. Major action came away seventh, Broadway Ray is eighth. In ninth, Park Lane Flyer. In the early trailer is Henry Tross. Quarter and 28 and 28 seconds flat. They approach the half. Midnight Voices on the outside. On the inside, goodbye to Hollywood. They battle for the lead. Broadway Bourbon right there in third. Gapping on the inside, fourth, V12. Vic's legacy hung on the outside fifth, and he's going to be out there for a long time. Sport Fanatic looks for Ray Seagram sixth. Up on the outside, major action on the move seventh. Racing up eighth is Park Lane Flyer. Towards the inside, Broadway Ray is ninth, and Henry Tross still can see them all. Final three-eighths of the mile. Goodbye to Hollywood. Brings it home. Two on top. On the inside, Broadway Bourbon second. Midnight Voices drops back in third. Three quarters and 126 flat. Final three sixteenths of the mile. Goodbye to Hollywood. Still has the lead. Broadway Bourbon now comes out for the drive. Second, Sport Fanatic third. Park Lane Flyer coming on fourth. Now it's Broadway Bourbon taking the lead and saying bye-bye. Broadway Bourbon leads by five. On the outside, made, that's Park Lane Flyer moving in the second. But at the wire, it's all Broadway Bourbon. Broadway Bourbon wins it by almost four. Major, that's Park Lane Flyer second and Sport Fanatic was third.
Field of 10. Uh, Three-year-old Pacers starting to line up for the Pete Langley Memorial State Consolation. They're picking up speed. Here they come. They're off in pacing. C. Henry Sundance comes out flying. C. Henry Sundance quickly into a two-length lead on the outside. There goes entry mate Fox Valley Rogue, and racing in between them is Let's Go Jack and Tony Morgan. A race into the turn. Fox Valley Rogue, three parts of a length, now a length to Let's Go Jack. Length back to C. Henry Sundance, racing third. A length to Bee Gees Muggsy, fourth, length and a half aphoristic, followed by Diamond Danger, a length and a quarter to Nuclear Sun, a length and a half unequivocal. Then it's Mo Gumbo, second to last, trailing the field is capitalized. They pass by the quarter. 28 and 1. Now into the 3 eighths. Fox Valley Rogue and Pinsky on top. A tight length. Let's go, Jack. Racing in the pocket. On the outside, there goes BG's Muggsy. Half length to see Henry Sundance. They approach the half mile marker. Hit that station. 57 and 3. 29 and 2. Second quarter. They wheel on to the far turn. Hit still. Fox Valley Rogue on top. Perfect trip for Let's Go Jack. On the outside, Bee Gees Muggsy grinding it out first over. C. Henry Sundance, now aphoristic, is closing in for Dave McGee. They turn for home. Fox Valley Rogue leads it. Bee Gees Muggsy hangs tough. It's Fox Valley Rogue out there by two, three quarters, 127 and two. Into the final, three sixteenths. Here's aphoristic. Aphoristic now takes command. Fox Valley Rogue racing in second. Bee Gees Muggsy's dropping off. Let's go, Jack. Looks for a racing room. The entry's duking it out in deep stretch. Aphoristic on the outside. Fox Valley Rogue on the inside. Aphoristic as the Pinsky entry finishes 1-2. Aphoristic then Fox Valley Rogue. Mo Gumbo may have gotten up for third at 154-3. Fields off the turn. Here they come. They're off and pacing in between horses. Oliver G. Slim left sharply for the lead along the pylons. Hearts Tiger drives out. Taking over third last go. Henry looking to drop in fourth is Gene's prize. Finding a good early spot. Fifth is Broadway Preview in sixth position. Broadway Bastion. Then it's Anxious Willie, Master Mark Grace, Flip Flop and Fly, and Ken's Bunny is the early trailer. Ten pacers for tonight's ninth move on to the back stretch with Oliver G. Slim showing the way to a quarter, 28 and 2. Oliver G. Slim, the leader, up on the outside. There goes Hart's Tiger driving from the pocket. And now Chup is having a bit of trouble with Oliver G. Slim, who got a bit rank at the quarter. Hearts Tiger now takes the lead. Oliver G. Slim second. Let's go. Henry third. On the inside, Gene's prize fourth. And now he's flushed out of fourth. Moving up with cover fifth is Broadway Preview. And he's four lengths from the leader. Then on the outside, it's Broadway Bastion sixth. Saving ground advancing inside. Master Mark Grace. On the outside in eighth is Anxious Willie. Followed by Flip Flop and Fly. And Ken's Bunny 57 and 1 for the half. They race around the turn on the inside. It's Hearts Tiger. Gene's prize moves up to engage the leader. Towards the inside with no place to go. Oliver G. Slim. Broadway preview tips out wide for the drive. Heads are turned for home in the ninth at Sportsman's. And Broadway preview starting to wind up on the outside. And here comes Broadway preview. It's Broadway preview on the outside. On the inside, Hearts Tiger digging in. Oliver G. Slim has no place to go. Closing ground, Broadway. Broadway Bastion. It's Broadway Preview with Broadway Bastion closing on the outside. Broadway Preview, Broadway Bastion, Broadway Preview to win it. Broadway Bastion second and Gene's prize was third.
Fields off the turn. Here they come. They're often pacing on the outside, choking in the hole, left sharply for the lead. Towards the inside, leaving well was Jeffrey's pet, followed by Max Bow. Far outside, Chicago Jazz moves up. Shokin in the hole leads. Chicago Jazz looking to drop in second. Closing the gap third is Jeffrey's pet. Two lanes back to Max Bow racing in fourth. Another three back to Gleaming Rev Rack fifth. Settling in sixth is Greek Fire in seventh position. Ruffy Guru. It's a two-length gap to Fox Valley Porsche, eighth code of conduct, ninth. Holly Hill Fashion at the end, the quarter, 27 and 3. Chicago Jazz now takes the lead. That'll only be for about another 10 steps because there goes Jeffrey's pet. It's Jeffrey's pet to the front. Chicago Jazz says you want the lead. You go ahead and take it. In third position up the back stretch. Shoking in the hole on the outside. The Moving up is Gleaming Revrack. Shuffled fifth inside Max Bow. Greek Fire moves up with cover sixth. And he's only three lengths from the leader. Third over seventh is Ruffy Guru. In eighth position on the outside of horses. That's Fox Valley Porst on its code of conduct ninth. Far back out of the race. Holly Hill Fashion. They're at the top of the stretch on the inside with a short lead. Jeffrey's pet on the outside gaining ground. Max Bow, they're in the stretch. Three quarters, 125 and four. Jeffrey's pet clinging tenaciously to the lead. On the outside, the challenger second. That's Gleaming Revrack closing up on the outside is Greek Fire. Max Bow looks for racing room on the inside. Your leader, Jeffrey's pet, choking in the hole now coming through on the inside. It's Jeffrey's pet, choking in the hole, coming on, looking for room. Jeffrey's pet still in front. Choking in the hole, second, tight for third, Ruffy Guru. Fields off the turn. Here they come. They're up and pacing in between horses. Duncan McLeod left well for the lead. On the inside, Park Lane Dynamite left. Followed up on the outside by Sports Nut. Under the finish wire the first time, Duncan McLeod the leader. Sports not on the outside, second. Park Lane Dynamite, third. Hot Chili Pepper moves up on the outside, fourth. Towards the inside, fifth. Between two thieves. Sixth position to the quarter. Hooked on a feeling racing in seventh. Fancy Creek Ideal. In eighth position, Broadway Momentum. Then it's Chevy, Genuine Chevy. In the early trailer, Jake's a dancer. Quarter and 27 and 4 and up the back stretch they go. Tony Morgan looks over. He sees Sportsnut moving up the challenge. Duncan McLeod. They race to the half. Duncan McLeod a length. Sportsnut on the outside. Second towards the inside. Park Lane Dynamite covered up third. And the outside hot chili pepper gains ground fourth. There goes hooked on a feeling moving up fifth. Between two thieves now looking for racing room six. Saving ground advancing inside. Broadway momentum seventh. On the outside fancy creek ideal eight. Genuine Chevy ninth. Jake's a dancer at the end. Half 56 and one. Final three eighths of the mile. Sports nut now makes the top. Here comes Hot Chili Pepper charging up on the outside. Second towards the inside. Duncan McLeod third. Hooked on a feeling gains ground fourth. In the stretch. Hot Chili Pepper now gets the lead. Sports nut trying to fight back. Second closing up on the outside. Here comes Hooked on a feeling. Duncan McLeod needs racing room. 
Hot Chili Pepper leads. Here comes Hooked on a Feeling on the outside, getting the lead. That's Hooked on a Feeling now taking command. Hot Chili Pepper trying to fight back second. Hooked on a Feeling has the lead. Anderson's going to win again. Hooked on a Feeling in front. Hot Chili Pepper second. Duncan McLeod third, tight for fourth. Fields off the turn. Here they come. They're off and pacing on the outside. Diamond Brigade left sharply for the lead. Still further out is Mandy's Paul. On the far outside, Mystical Hawk drives out third. Now second, My Mystical Hawk up to take the lead. Diamond Brigade second, Mandy's Paul hung on the outside, third moving up to be fourth as Fast Muffler. Big Tom came away fifth, racing in sixth to the quarter. Showbiz Joe in seventh position, JB's Naughty Boy. Then on the inside, it's Bourbon A Bandit, followed by Red Car in the early trailer. William J. Bonney, the quarter went in 28 and 1. Up the back stretch they go. It's Mystical Hawk, the leader. Mandy's Paul now hung on the outside. Second, racing along the inside. Third is Diamond Brigade. Big time on the outside, moving up to be fourth. And he's about five lengths from the leader. Then it's Fast Muffler along the inside. Fifth, racing up to be sixth is Showbiz Joe. Then on the inside, it's JB's Naughty Boy, followed by Bourbon A Bandit. Then to the inside, it's William J. Bonney, trailing the field to the half. The red car. They went by the half in 56 flat, and they move around the turn, and Big Tom is powered up to take the lead by two. Mystical Hawk racing second. Diamond Brigade is third. Heads are turned for home in the Origin Blue Championship, and Big Tom rolls out to a five-length advantage. Three quarters and 124 and three. It's Big Tom, the leader by three. Mystical Hawk fighting back on the inside. Second, Fast Muffler now closing ground third. Big Tom's feeling pressure. Mystical Hawk is closing on the outside. Fast Muffler and on the outside, Bourbon A Bandit. Big Tom has the lead on the outside. Mystical Hawk, one final move. Big Tom, yes, has done it. Big Tom in front. Even daily double, one, one, three dollars even. Here's your 12th race rundown before we send it down to Joe to give away some more prizes. Big Tom, the winner. Showbiz Joe, fifth. JB's Naughty Boy, sixth. Bourbon A Bandit, third. Red Car, eighth. Diamond Brigade, seventh. Mandy's Paul, tenth. W.J. Bonnie ninth, Mystical Hawk second, and Fast Muffler fourth. Recapping, one five six, three eight seven, ten nine two 9 2 and 4, the mile 153 and 3. Racing fans, for those of you still here at Sportsman's